All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, cool. Um, as you know, we've been doing the show for a long time. Uh, so we're bound to repeat things at some point. Including uh, intros, yes. Including intros. Well, this I'm going to keep doing this intro because it, <laughs> I have to explain. What I'm actually trying to explain away is I don't remember if we've done this before, but I want to cover that base. Okay. Um, I have bought a large uh, restaurant subsidiary. They own several different restaurants. Uh, I've used network money. Oh, and okay. I've had them put the names of random games into fortune cookies. Hmm. Okay. Have we, I can't remember. Have we done? Feels like we would have had to have done a fortune cookie. Yeah. That, I mean, in five years, that really feels like it would have come, come through. Like it seems, it seems too obvious. So that's yeah. why, that's why I'm, I'm uh, preparing it, but I got us both a fortune cookie. Okay. And uh, I want to, you know, so like a fortune, uh, like normal fortune cookies, you have to eat the cookie first before you read the fortune or it won't come true. True. So here you are. All right. Okay. Uh, go go ahead and eat yours here. Okay. Mm. Mm, uh, cardboardy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Fortune cookies really range from like, you know, delicate vanilla wafer style, <laughs> and then just kind of like matter, <laughs> like matter the cookie, the ride. Yeah. You know. I'm thinking, um, what's the deal? The paper would taste better than this. <laughs> the the uh, we got we got to put you in in into our our fortune division you write some <laughs> good good you know those humorous ones yeah uh, that pop up every once in a while um so go ahead and uh what what does uh what does yours say huh mine says shack food but that can't be because we've already done that okay let me see what mine says and see if it adds on to it um mine says um everything that you have ironic love for from your childhood will someday it's really long like it keeps keep scrolling will someday be repackaged and sold to you with winking enthusiasm as a sun substandard meme based product also racism the legend reborn i'm so let down yeah fuck there's, there's, like fuck is the wrong word but like come on shack yeah man come on This is Gary Butterfield. This this is Cole Ross. And this is Outer Suffering, the show where we play bad games so you don't have to. Why are you doing this to us? Dad. <laughs> the, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Dad. The, I, one, of the, one of the things I like about Duck Feed is that like when we say like we want Shaq to be our daddy, there's no sexual subtext to it at all. I think we I mean we didn't make that joke before daddy culture was a thing, but we definitely made it before it was an internet thing. Well we but we also didn't make the joke like it was never like we want Shaq to like tie his necktie around our hands and and give us a good fucking like we always just want him to adopt us well i think you're speaking for yourself right now that could be the case yeah. no no we, 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 i would <laughs> like a new father cole would like a new lover <laughs> get on that you, you got you got a free weekend yeah. like yeah. yeah no you're absolutely right like that, <laughs> that is minute. make it happen yeah and it's been yeah. a, it's been a while since it's been long enough since we've really like leaned on this joke that mm -hmm. it actually does like the oh please adopt us does take on that unsavory context it absolutely did not have that context to begin with yeah at least as far as we know right yeah i mean I, I, it, it, in my conscious mind it had nothing to do with that yeah yeah no it was just uh you know he seems like he and i still think he'd be like a good guy despite mm -hmm. being pretty grossed out by jack blue the legend reborn yeah um which is and and I wanted to do this thinking it would be full of shack goodness and not thinking it would be like the Bubsy Reborn yeah. episode, which is a, just about how, you know, ironic appreciation will lead to real substandard products. Stop doing it. See Bubsy, see the Kingdom Hearts franchise, see like all of these things <laughs> that just make this happen. Like stop ironically liking things. Yeah. You know? <sighs> Yep, you like just realize you actually like this thing, and the irony, yeah. the irony just like leads to a weird kind of uh, a weird kind of incentive for what should come next out of it. You know, yep, it's gonna it's gonna make the developers do stuff like this, which is like, uh, similar to Bubs. Like this is actually has a very similar trajectory to 
the Bubsy thing where like this is a much better playing game than Shaq Fu. Yes. You know, like I think I think this is a, a fine beat em up. Like mm-hmm. I, I had okay time like playing it. It's not great. Some weird like it's... input bugs aside, like this looks good and plays fine. It's snappy. The animation's real good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super functional. Yeah. Um, as a thing, it's just because it was made by a company trying to be funny and cater to this memeiness. Mm-hmm. Like the original version is dead serious, and that's why it's wonderful. Thank you, thank you very much for making that point because yeah. the irony actually like undercuts the reason why the original is so funny. <laughs> Yes, yeah. you know, and this is just uh, ton, tons of shitty Mimi jokes and then like also toe it like trying to, edge, you know, toe up to the edge a lot, yeah. you know, like try, yeah. trying, trying to be a little bit edgy. Like how racist can we be without being like capital R racist? Yeah. You know, and that's that's a bummer. That's a bummer place to be. Right. Because it does take, you know, like. That the, the, there is a fascination in hip hop with kung fu movie kind of stuff, which is, which makes sense because because kung fu movie stuff is good, right? Sure. The, like yeah. the the things that are being mixed here, kung fu, hip hop, and basketball, are mm-hmm. all very good, objectively good things. They're leaning into just some really sketchy, like, oh, we're making a joke here, and uh, we we have no interest in being politically correct. Ha ha. Whatever your yeah. opinion on that, and there, there, I believe there is a right opinion on that. Like it's lazy. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's not exceedingly it's, lazy. It, it's not especially. It's not especially good humor. <laughs> the only time I genuinely <laughs> so, sorry. Okay, you know what's funny about this construction shit? So there's an we recorded the exquisite suffering episode where we did our. I'm I'm stuck between two houses that are both doing like some kind of construction. Right. <laughs> and one of my windows is broken and will not close. Right. Um they stopped while we were between episodes. The fuckers. <laughs> like, I didn't even notice like, that. We, and they stopped and then now we're recording again. Yeah. And they're like, gotta get drilling. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and it, it is uh for people who don't have that exquisite, I don't want to go through the whole thing. It is uniquely weird to have two separate constructions going on on both sides of your house. It's yeah. very surreal and disorienting. <laughs> right. So, like, it'll key up. Like, I'll hear, like, somebody pull a chain to start a thing on uh, one end, uh-huh. and then it will start on the other end. <laughs> Do like, it's just, like, they're, they're teaming up. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I apologize for how, how unpleasant it is. It's much more unpleasant for me. I, you know, rest assured. Well, the funny thing is because of the, you know, because of the setup and the gear we use, the noise gate that I'm running on it on you makes it sound, it makes it so we can only hear the sound when you're talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something in my throat. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, 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 the idea that it gives me is that there's somebody in the room just waiting for you to talk and only rev <laughs> and only revving the chainsaw when your mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to, uh, like working me like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> yeah. Just, just the, uh, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's all the time and it sucks. <laughs> uh, I really, I really don't like it. Yeah. The, the, the point that I was making though, for, for as hard as this game tries to be funny. And again, like the, the straight facedness of the original was kind of the entirety of its charm. Um, the only time I laughed at this was when I noticed that the 100% heal pick me up. The power up is mm-hmm. icy hot. Like that is, that is yeah. funny to me. It, it like the, the weird, the icy hot tie in is pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, so those are a couple of jokes that are okay. I just don't like how like camp town races, is it <laughs> racist? It is camp town <laughs> racist sing this song <laughs> no please but no please dun, dun, don't dun. Yeah, it, it's it's extremely dun 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 yeah you know the 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 game like there are funny bits about it when it's shack centric yes like at one point i realized that the background music had replaced like one of the drum beats with somebody saying shack yeah like in one of the songs and i was like that's that's very funny yes you know and shack is lending his real voice to this and he mm-hmm. he's game he's giving he's not a good actor but he's giving you know a a all their performance mm-hmm you know, that I appreciate. It's just not, uh, the things he's saying are just kind of like gross and memey and not funny. Right. And, and kind of racist. Mm-hmm. And I also feel like the weird, the first, uh, enemy you run into who is not the basic enemy, mm-hmm. like m- might be pretty transphobic. Like, I think that's supposed to be a demon or some kind, but they are coded as like flashy, kind of you know women man a little, little, little draggy 
yeah, like a little a little draggy and their voices are real like kind of lispy like dude doing a you know, it, it just has a little bit of plausible deniability where it could be like a, a demon voice, but also sounds like Yeah. Somebody doing like <laughs> Doing see, a woman's see, voice? See, see also the entirety of the not the entirety, but see also certain examples of the the uh, medium that shall not be mentioned. The uh, refuge in oh, it's a demon, so technically it's four thousand years old, and you know it does not yes. actually have uh, you know uh, let's right. say it human does... categorizations. That is a very flimsy shelter. Yeah, it's still it, there's still signaling, like there's still coding, yeah. you know, regardless of what it actually is. Um, and it's just like kind of gross. Mm-hmm. Like when those guys like talked and I, I showed up and all the jokes, like there's tons of gay panic jokes. Yeah. Specifically like between Jack, Jack ex- and his mentor. He's extremely concerned with, with maybe being kind of gay. Right. And that sucks. Mm-hmm. Like it just, it's, you know, earlier you said it's like lazy. Like it's just like, yeah, could it be more offensive? Like, yeah, yeah. but it's extremely lazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> like, I, and I never understand that with people who go on this, like, Oh, you're just too easily offended thing. Like if you can't, get on board with condemning this from a human rights perspective. Like somebody is going to see this and be like, man, Shaq really doesn't want to be gay. That makes me feel pretty terrible as a gay guy. Yeah. Like maybe I'm a kid who loves his, his basketball and now he's got this attitude. If you can't get on board with that actually being harmful at the very least, can you get on board with it being like bad quality writing, like, or like bad quality humor, you know, like very lazy. Mm hmm. For sure. Like, and, you know, just (laughs) like every time that joke is used, um, that is taking up a spot where a good joke could have been included or, you know, like valuably silence could have been included. (laughs) Yeah, This game is as verbose as Bubsy as well. Yeah. Like it's very talky. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's a bit of a bummer because, okay, so we, we, we should probably say this, this is not a bad Mortal Kombat alike. Uh, you know, like the original Shaq Fu was, they take the fighting game combat and kind of parlay that into this really colorful, really loose beat 'em up. Yeah. Um, yep. no- notably a beat 'em up that does not allow co op, which is goddamn ridiculous. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, so, and, and, and as a beat 'em up fight, you know, I said it was kind of more functional, and it is, but it is really boring. Like, you yeah. do. There's a lot of spaces between when there are these like little exchanges between you and your master that are boring and, you know, kind of offensive Mm -hmm. spaces in between where they're just like, what if some new guys came out? Like the first level actually does kind of an impressive job of introducing, you know, it's very formulaic, but it's a good formula where Mm -hmm. like, here's a new type of enemy. Here's a new type of enemy mixed up with an old type of enemy. Mm-hmm. Here's a new, t- here's that new type of enemy, the old type of enemy and an environmental hazard. Yeah. Like it, it runs through that, that order of operations over and over again, which is fine. Like that's actually good. Mm-hmm. It just does it too many times. Yeah. Like I played through up through the end of the, like I fought two bosses. I fought a mini boss and a real boss. Mm-hmm. And like, I didn't, it wasn't too hard. I just quit. Cause I was bored and grossed out. Yeah. But during that time, like, it's just a little bit too, too long, a little bit too much repetition, Mm -hmm. you know, less repetition than final fight. You know, it's still like a modern video game, like a modern brawler, but it's not, it's not a good one. They they, they put some systemic English on this. Like the idea that by building up combos, you, you, you fill your energy meter and that can be used for like, uh, power kicks, which are like Bayonetta's, uh, witch attacks, except he summons a huge sneaker. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Which I like. I like that. That's good. Um, and like that also powers your dash, you know? Um, so you can move left and right. Strangely enough, you have a dodge roll, but it only lets you go forward and backward. When I mentioned input glitches before, every time I tried to roll, Shaq would get stuck in that animation and would just roll away from the camera like he was shy. <laughs> yeah, it, it that's a really bad th- move. Like giving yourself a dodge roll in a beat up is a good idea. Yeah. And making it work on that axis. Mm-hmm. You know, like the Z axis, essentially the further the distance axis is good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but yeah, it, it's you clicking in R3 is a bad interface for it. Yeah. And you have to click in while it's up or down, mm-hmm. which usually like on, on using the R3, like you don't usually do that with a direction. No, no. You know, I don't, I don't I actually can't think of any other game that does that. No, I, like I know games that will ignore the R3 input if it's if it's pushed too far in one direction, because yeah. that's obviously an accidental input. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't I didn't run into an actual glitch with it. I just thought it was hard to do yeah. on the surface. Yeah. I, I would just I would just get stuck in that. And that makes certain bosses, like certain encounters, like hard to manage because you do have to, you know, 
basically get out of the get out of the axis of their incoming attack right yeah yep 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 yeah so how how far did you get um i got um let me see here so after the fight with frizzle so i so i, so I fought him not miss frizzle mm-hmm. from the magic school bus but just like a like a flashy guy they started mixing up some of the encounters in such a way that it just i i died and my checkpoint was mm, realistically maybe like three or four minutes back and i was like no nah, i'm done yeah um yeah so i didn't get to the uh metal jaw donald trump which yeah mm, yeah no no nah. <laughs> so, sorry guys no i know you started developing this back in like 2013 or whatever uh not okay is the did you get to the transformation the the transformation no yeah so there's two different transformation modes Shaq can get in this which i think are both funny okay um you can turn into Shaq diesel which is you put on like a suit of power armor okay and it's actually kind of clever like you are more or less invincible during that but you have like a meter that overheats Mm -hmm. and you do a different uh so if you do your normal attack your punch you just you punch really quick and if you do your kick attack you like release heat like you do kind of a ground slam that releases the tension oh nice um so it's more or less just an invincibility but if you fuck up and you overheat then you are helpless for a little while and you take some damage right um that's kind of fun and then the other thing and again this does make me laugh like you eventually you can turn to a shaktus, which is a <laughs> cactus shack that runs around shooting needles. That's so uh, good. Like I'm like I'm pretty into sh- like why not just be that kind of silly for the entire game and not yeah. make a bunch of jokes about uh you know shack like somebody being like you know I want to help you and then shack being like whoa, whoa I'm not into you that way yeah uh, immediately you know like he he is good and pure like this this feels like a fundamental misunderstanding of shack yeah that. I can only conclude that we 100% should have been hired on as consultants for this. <laughs> yeah. What a missed opportunity. Like, what a missed opportunity for them. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, like I would have accepted the paycheck <laughs> and I, and I, and it would have been, you know, brought a bunch of people to the show mm-hmm. maybe, but also uh, we should 100% have been the people who understood Shaq, who could explain like what the cute, good, pure way of doing this would have been. Right. Like the, the, the one that was kind of in line again with, uh, you know what was what was endearing about the first one you know like mm-hmm. like even the basic premise i don't know that you would have to change an awful lot like i'm fine with it being more cartoony you know like like the visual style i think is i think is good it works but mm-hmm. like part of the part of the humor of this is that okay they open up shack was found in like a like like a, like a handbag in a chinese river when was written was raised there you know like yeah. like raised in a small village like okay yeah that's that, that that is a possible setup it's not as funny as him warping in but then everybody just makes makes a point of the yes. fact that he's a big black guy in a chinese village up and, to the point where like enemies will call him burnt rice which yeah, i did, did not like that yeah i i would have much rather like if they had just never commented on it yeah like if everyone just acted like and you could have still made jokes about it the jokes would have just been about him being in situations and no one noticing it right you know, and that just it feels uh, extremely insecure in mm-hmm. terms of its humor and writing. Yeah, to me, I guess, and that's probably like the biggest crime. Yeah. So, <sighs> why do you keep saying gold bond? I get paid every time I say gold bond, gold bond, yeah. gold bond, gold bond. Sorry, I've got I've got a video of this running. Um, yeah, I, I, there's a long play. I'm surprised this didn't actually get more kind of flack, like because it's also only two and a half hours long, right? Like this is similar to Bubsy where it's like there's no there's not a lot of meat on the bone mm-hmm. for people who did did give a shit about it. Yeah. Um I kept expecting to run into um like an upgrade system because you collect coins all the time. Yeah, you you're, you're uh, but collecting apparently blue balls. Coins. Yeah. Yeah. Well the the blue balls uh, that you get are the thing that allow you to do um your your ground slam. Yes. Thing. But you have to also collect like just straight up like currency that are gold coins, but I think they're just points. Yeah. I don't know. I was bummed. I wanted this to be better. I wanted it to be more of a thing, you know? Mm. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So anywho, that that's kind of, I was expecting a lot more from this. I pushed this to the front of the pack. Yes, you did. Uh, on purpose, thinking this would be, yeah. <laughs> well, oh my God. You really undersold the shack disc, Gary. I, I I definitely did. Yeah, I just got to the point. It's not that he's like you know like full on taking the form of a of a cactus. He just wears a green suit and he has like a, like a Marge Simpson kind of a, a pillar on his head. Yeah, 
He still he still has he still has like needles on yeah. him and stuff, but he's just tossing them as he's running around. <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah. Like I am so into this Shaktus, and I want the game that is built around like Shaktus first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, does does do an entire like bevy of Shack puns as all your power ups? Yeah. You know? Like that is easy, but it is also like better than what they had. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yep. well. Um. So because this game is so new, it's very difficult to find any real game facts. There's just a lot of people, a lot of people like responding to it earnestly online, talking about like, oh, the Paris Hilton boss fight is incredibly cheap. Okay, cool. The, yeah, the, uh, the, apparently the, uh, the, the evil demon, the, the Chinese demon that you're fighting brings in, uh, you know, impersonates celebrities. Okay. So that is, uh, at the end you, 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 you run into that. Yeah. So. That's pretty and, unfortunate. And compare that to just the random fighters that came off of somebody's sketchbook that are based on like Egyptian mythology. Yeah. You know, here we yep, have. Yep. Yeah. There are a bunch of people on the game facts who are upset about this, not having characters from the original Shaq Fu. Yes. Which I, which I appreciate like, mm-hmm. Oh man, you know, why isn't there uh you know, voodoo and Memphis in this? <laughs> it's like, I remember voodoo and Memphis. Yeah um you know, <laughs> against oh. all odds i remember these these weird yeah these weirdos yeah yeah um but the uh oh th- this is uh this is depressing um the message board for this last post is in february uh february 15th oh of this year so yeah the, uh, once this game came out it actually uh there's no discussion yeah so yeah. Huh. Well, there's another one. This is on the Xbox One. Like there are people saying, like, oh, I just finished this game. It was very buggy, like just really reacting. Um also this game was given out for free to people who bought the Switch NBA Playgrounds game. Yeah. Like okay. you that can't feel good when your game is a consolation prize. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Weird. And if you look on Steam, like there are a lot of negative reviews about this, a lot of them related to uh uh jilted backers as well Mm -hmm. but then there are like all the positive reviews are people who are responding almost directly to the memeiness of it yeah yeah that's the 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 reviews i looked at this on metacritic and it is people who say things like um you know it's janky and repetitive but the i got a good chuckle out of it Mm -hmm. you know and it's there's a little bit of like you know so we like i watched that uh that that deadpool 2 film Mm -hmm. uh and you saw that right yeah yeah um like it it is a good example i think of just like throwing a billion jokes and just like they don't have to all be hits mm-hmm. you know and the jokes are, are generally better but also like this is kind of going for that so it, i can imagine just being you know playing this and being like oh yeah shaktis that's great mm-hmm. you know uh however i'm just i'm more dragged down by the the burnt rice yes kind of thing like that actually so i can understand like a level of lack of sensitivity where you don't even notice that i guess Mm-hmm. Uh, but I don't like it. Like, I don't think it's a good way to be. Yeah. Well, one of the things that makes the, oh, we just throw a million jokes out there approach work is that there's variety in these, a variety in those jokes. Like yes. a lot of the time, you know, in the, in the first you know bit that I played, it was, Hey, your master might be gay and he's denying it to you kind of repeat yeah. repeated not like one after the other but not enough in between <laughs> like yeah. let, let me let me forget that before you try again you know yeah. if you try yeah. or moreover maybe don't try again. <laughs> yeah please do not try again yeah um so i have uh because of this i have this i'm glad i said i had this in the back pocket before i suggested it yeah um i got a, i got a story okay uh for you um <clears throat> so the uh i'm getting ready to move and I went to uh, the department store to pick up some bins. Um, this is not important. It's just important because I live close to the department store, but I wanted, I took a lift home because I had groceries and I had uh, a bunch of Rubbermaid bins. Yeah. You know, awkward to carry. Uh, I had the biggest nightmare lift that I've ever had, like bar none, you know, by an order of magnitude. Oh, no. Uh, the worst lift. So I get in. Uh, the guy comes out, he looks like he's a spin doctor and he, uh, like, like a spin, like a spin dentist, like not a, quite a full spin doctor, but right, like right. technically a doctor. He's he spin, like he spin pre-med. Yeah. <laughs> spin, 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 uh, or, you know, uh, scrubs, mm-hmm. um, comes out like, Hey man, 
you know, how's it, how's it going? You know, and I just, you know, stand there with my bins and, and it's just normal day. I don't feel like dealing with that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm all right. He's like, it's, he's like, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I'm like, yeah, you know, weather cleared up. He's like, even if it didn't, it'd be beautiful, man. Oh, uh, no. I get in the car. Dude's uh, playing real upbeat uh, music and says like, and I can't remember his name. It's something like, it was like something like Keith or, or Kent or something like that. And he's like, Hey man, you know, my, my name's Keith. Uh, listen, right over here, you know, I got a, I got a ukulele if you want to play it. Now I felt personally very called it called out by this because uh. as somebody who is recently, uh, who, who plays the ukulele and loves it. Uh-huh. Uh, I now know like, this is the dark side of that instrument. <laughs> that is the only instrument that could have been used in this context. Right. And is extremely embarrassing. And I wanted to be like, no, like I've got a very nice, like, Cordoba concert ukulele that's made of real wood and sounds great and and I it's it's not that it doesn't have was, to be. was his like a little shitty plastic ukulele that was it like was, painted to look like an alien or what it was, <laughs> it was painted to look like a joint yeah no, no, I mean, it was it was it was a bad ukulele but like that yeah. wasn't the point was just like it was wacky yeah you know and I was like oh like you know and, and I was like I was put in that position and I'm, I know that you relate to this because this I feel like this is you and I both have different uh, flavors of neuroses, but there's overlap. And this is one of them. I think you, we would have reacted the exact same way to this guy. And I really wish that we had been together for it because it would have been, if, if know, we, if we would have been together, we would have fed on it. Like, like, if, like we would have yes. turned that around. Yes. I, I think that's true. And then also the, the relief, the cathartic laughter after he like drove out of the distance would have been, you know, worth bottling. Right. Um, at right. that point. Um, but it, it just, it felt like it was just, you know, him, uh, him being wacky and I had that position that I know you relate to, which is like, I could actually like, he's trying to make a, uh, talk to me. Like, I do know about this, uh-huh. you know, like I, I could be like, Oh, like I know how to play ukulele. Like I could, you know, mm-hmm. I, I could be like, Oh, what kind of ukulele is this? Like, you know, I could have engaged with him on that level because it was something we had in common, but I was not forced, but felt compelled to pretend I did not know anything about anything. Right. To make the experience end quicker. Like it was like, I was at the dentist, <laughs> you know, like I was just trying to make it end. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you know, cool. Like, yeah, I don't really play, you know, any instruments. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't do anything. I, I, I find music to be frivolous. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I find this whole thing to be tasteful, distasteful. Um, and then he says multiple times, and it, it is a uh, one of the reasons, you know, it's an easy walk to the store. Um, so the lift ride is about five minutes. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, multiple times he says, uh, "Man, you got to follow me on Insta. Here, look at this." <gasps> oh no. He pointed in the back of the seat, in the pocket in the back of the seat, there was a notebook where he had people write down whatever they wanted. And you can follow him on Insta at LiftLog. Uh, so I was flipping through this book. He's like, write anything you want in there, man. You write your feelings. You write poetry. You get real if you want to. You get real. You tell me your deepest, darkest secrets. Now I'm going to publish them, and then someday I'm going to sell that as a book. <laughs> and I'm like, and I, I'm just, you know... All of my my bones are made of ice. You know, I, I right. just I, I can't I can't. Uh, so I'm flipping through lift log, and it is tons of. I was so embarrassed for my city because it was so many people being like, "Lol, what a hilarious lift driver!" You go, Lely? Exclamation point question mark. And I'm like, "Who am I? Do I belong here? Should I be the kind of person I am?" You know, what, what choice has brought me to this? Like what company am I keeping yeah. holistically? Um, you know, and just flipping through. So it'd be things like that. A bunch of people just like drawing, you know, shitty, shitty drawings of dogs and rainbows and stuff. And then there was like, I found ones where just like, you know, uh, uh, you know, betrayal, betrayal is a bitch. When one of your friends stabs you in the back over a man, <laughs> they're you literally like vague vengeance. booking. <laughs> and I'm like vague booking in the lift log, uh, <laughs> just like flipping through and just going back and forth through those. Like one person was like, um, you know, you never expect the people you love the most to hurt you. However, they always will. The only lesson you can learn in life is to trust no one. <laughs> uh, you know, and then just signed like, you know, Jeff, like, what the fuck, Jeff, you know, <laughs> And just uh, flipping through this, but I thought we would could have a fun abject suffering day uh, digging through Instagram.com forward slash lift log because <laughs> uh, there is quite a bit of content here. Uh, uh, that someday will be a book, and we can give our listeners a uh, a sneak preview of the book that is lift log. Yeah. Um, oh boy, that's a raccoon in a diaper. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what we got here. There's a real good penis and balls um, about five down on the left. <laughs> Six down on the left. Yeah. Um, hey, baby, want to check out my Sphigma, Sphigma manometer? I hope you're having an amazing day. Send out positivity to the world. Smiley face. Awesome to have been in your car. You have a very positive vibe and very energetic. Oh, so they're writing reviews of the guy. Like they're not following the. <laughs> Except for the guy who just drew this like really, <laughs> really uh, sick. And I mean that in an ill way. Yeah. Uh, penis and ball set. This says Burton Design Company. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Burton Design. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. That's funny uh good good vibes only and the the o's and good or spirals yeah that that that's the kind of thing we're dealing with and there's lots of yeah. pictures of the guy because I, I want you to see you know oh yeah what it, it looks lo like looks kind of like tom papa a little bit yeah yeah that, that that's about right i was a uh be honest show warmth to everyone you meet and greet and cheat along the way 420 blaze it motherfuckers jk place <laughs> of lane here smoke weed every day peace and love so okay. yeah um somebody somebody just wrote tongue punch that fart box yep is that a is that like a like a i think that means eating ass right right but is that like a catchphrase i don't like it now <laughs> it's, it's the, the official catchphrase of instagram slash live log yep <laughs> tp tfb uh. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Great. Wow. Oh, Brant. Brant is his name. Oh, it's even worse than I thought it was. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. A lift driver from heaven. Definitely. Like, there's definitely like a person, you know, who who this is what they're made for, and this guy got the exact opposite of that person. Right. You know. Like, have you ever like what what are the situations in your life like? Can you remember like a time when you just felt in stark contrast to a background quite this hard you're putting you're putting me on the spot and i can't really i can't really pull anything up like i i can only presume like just times when like even even casting pretty far back a lot of socializing and even like school stuff had to like centered around the church and youth group kind of stuff I generally mm -hmm. always fell out of place there, but I feel like this is different. I feel like this is amplified because not only are you locked in a small space with this person, you're also yeah. completely under their control. Like you yeah. are, you are at their, you are at, <laughs> at their will, uh, far more than you ever should be. It, it's like a, it's like a choose your own adventure. i like a prisoner of Brant. <laughs> it's a choose your own adventure. Like, you know prisoner uh, of the brant people yeah um here, here's a picture of a, a gigantic penis ejaculating onto a tiny man uh and under that it says angus d headed to pdx to go back uh for my padre's funeral rip jackie heart <laughs> <laughs> what is this like uh so the, fucking weird man the, 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 there's a picture of a of a giantess standing next to a next to a house with the word lady parts written and surrounded by stars right in front of her yeah yeah the uh so i had the whole thing and he was kind of watching me the whole time like i'd picked it up and i was just trying to flip through the book oh, and he was and... he was gonna feed on any of your utterances even your yeah, expressions he, was, he he was like he was an improv team and i was the improv audience that is and actually we were, a very apt thing. Yeah. And we were we were locked in a room and he was just waiting for me to say a Starbucks at the North Pole so he could just riff on it. Like, you, you know, <laughs> in uh, Mr. Show, there, there's that episode where David Cro or Bob gets replaced by Kenzie Matthews. Yeah. The, the college college favorite. Yeah. Uh, who just it, and it's it's pretty much uh, Tom McKinney doing like a really, really funny, more or less Robin Williams impersonation. Mm hmm. You know, him just, uh, you know, going through and like, you know, oh, you're the Eggman. Nice to meet you. I'm the walrus. You know, just like making these really, he was like that. He was yeah. very Kenzie Matthews. Yeah. And, you know, especially when you're, when you're alone with that and with you and when there is nothing to diffuse the ongoing, I, 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 pres I presume all of this happened for the entire ride. It was a very oh, short yeah. ride, right? Like he... it, was, it was, yeah, but it was, it was, there was no silence. Right. Uh, there was no point in which one of us wasn't talking and I was trying to be as quiet as I possibly could and still be polite. Yes. So, yeah. Um, like, so especially if I was alone in that situation, all I could think is all of this joy is a symptom of great sorrow. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, and like maybe that's not the kindest or most accurate thought. Maybe that says more about me than it would about the other person in that equation. But like that that has to be true, right? Like the, like, yeah. the, like the, there's at least there's at least enough of a basis for <laughs> there's enough of a basis for that that it's at least worth inquiring about or at least yeah, I think mentioning. so too. Yeah. And like there's something to the idea of like when you 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 are this person you get out of uh, the lift and then before opening up the trunk you do a couple squats because it's leg day uh-huh like in front of people which that which brant did oh jesus right isn't it like doesn't don't you feel embarrassed just by proxy like i'm thinking about it and i'm having like you know no, flashbacks I'm, 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 to my embarrassment. i'm getting flop sweat about this. yeah <laughs> like, it just makes me nervous the brands out in the wild man yeah like i can't handle the fact that so i did i i never like he was nice and got me to my place and he is my least favorite kind of person in the world but i didn't want that to reflect on his his job duty right i was i had another lift moral conundrum like the last one i talked about where but this one i i gave a bad review to because by no means could i ever have this guy again right I put in my time. I feel like it's when you do jury duty uh-huh. and like you can't have jury duty again for two years. Mm-hmm. Like I put in my brand. <laughs> I need to never get brand. I can't get brand again. So I gave yeah. brand four stars and didn't mm. say anything, but I know that means I'll never get brand again. Good. Cause that's how lift works. Good. So I shall never see brand again in my life unless I want to go on to lift log <laughs> and learn more about uh brand. So for a person who wants to be an I an Insta star, which uh sorry, I said Insta and in that in in, in that syllable my skeleton jumped out of my mouth and is now <laughs> running in the direction of Dayton, I guess. Uh, that is the only way that Brant referred to it as. Yeah. So like, go ahead. No, no, just 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 know that you're being on Brant. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm being on Brant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his name has brand in it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh no! For for somebody who you know is 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 banking on this, got to throw a little bit of shade. He's only got fifty one posts, and he seems to be just be taking uh, cell phone pictures of the notebook as opposed to yeah. doing like scans. So a lot of these are like cut off at the top, or the exposure is real weird. Like man, you gotta you, you gotta put a good foot forward, you know? Get a get yeah. a workflow. Come on. Yeah, he he was talking about selling the book eventually, and I was like, oh, you know, just probably just like self print up, you know, like a best of. And he's like, no, man, just actually selling the notebook. And I was like, okay, you know, like yeah. okay, yeah. um, I, I I'm not here to give you free, a um, free marketing consult. Yeah, on this, I just smiled and said, cool. He was really encouraging me when I was holding the book. He's like, man, just just write something real in there, you know, like like you know, talk about. You know, talk about like a time you felt really sad or a time you felt you cried from joy, you know, and he's just being real aggro with me. He's like, you know, other people, they just go in there and they'd be like, man, what a nice day. Uh, You know, can't wait for summer. So I wrote uh, what a nice day. Can't wait for summer Mm -hmm. uh, in the book and then just put it back. Uh, (laughs) But I I felt like I needed him to see me write something because he was driving, you know, looking at the road, the minimum amount you can while staring directly into my eyes and waiting for me to write something in the lift log. <laughs> like it was, it was real torturous, man. Yeah. Like, and it was, and I, I, I thought about this. I was like, well, this is a good anecdote. Like, should I do this for like, what show should I bring this anecdote to? Because I, I have a sickness <laughs> right. and I, I process uh, real life uh, from joy to misery. And I uh-huh. put it into shows. Um, but I th- ultimately decided on object suffering because I, out of everyone, like Will would definitely relate to this. Like Will would hate this fucker. Mm-hmm. Um, but I knew that you would relate to it the most. Right. So. Yeah. I mean, just, just this book, man, like somebody like just a third of a page is just ISFP. So like combining the Myers brig type and ana- analysis <laughs> with this thing. No, n- none of this should be suffered. Like, I I understand having a chipper demeanor. I understand wanting to give people an experience, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like a good experience, not an experience. There's a there's a big difference uh, di- different yeah. there, right? But this is this is especially tone deaf, and I don't know, man. Im- imagine a. Uh, uh, <laughs> imagine the sentence being spoken 20 years ago i don't want this cab ride to be all about you yeah <laughs> <laughs> like that and that's 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 extremely apt yeah. like it is like there's there's a karaoke lift that I, i've heard tell that's oh. in portland and i always like i'm terrified of getting that like i like to think the fact that i'm by myself with groceries would preclude me from like being put on the karaoke spotlight but right. like 
there's a there's one cash cab folks yeah and the you know cash cab gives out money <laughs> you know like i don't getting an experience like a surprise experience like this was a real life mimic <laughs> like in every possible way <laughs> oh my god like, like this is as close to my life as a mimic i remember yeah. uh yeah th this person here on the lift log uh humans are funny have compassion and dance we're gonna go see the eagles at the moda center rescheduled <laughs> for may 5th excited <laughs> <laughs> Ride with our great, great, uh, great ride. Smiley face. So. Oh man, Captain's Log, good post. Five fifteen <laughs> and five sixteen, aka Twinsday. Twin, <laughs> fuck you. This, this person wrote um, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. But they wrote it emulating all the fonts of like a wooden board you would put on the side of your house. Oh no, you know, like uh, or like a. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like like a target art? Yeah, you know, for sure. Does that have oh, my, 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 my mom has lots of those, including a sign that she hung up in my bathroom, the like the, okay. the, the, the bathroom back at home in their house that says, uh, uh, let me let me think here what the phrasing is, changing the toilet paper doesn't cause brain damage. <laughs> cool. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> like, I mean, you can talk to me about this. I, I think I do an okay <laughs> job of changing the toilet paper. A brutal subtweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Subtweet that I see literally every time I stand at that toilet and pee. <laughs> yeah, just uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll check and see if it uh, if it has toilet paper. Yeah, but no, but I know what you're talking about, like 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 a woodcut yeah. or like a kind of like a twee, like a twee hand painted sign. Yeah. Yes. Bless this yeah. mess. Yeah. Turn, turn your to do list into a today list. Right. No, this is um, this is bad. Yeah, well, I, I I I'm deeply like unnerved by this mimic <laughs> so. yeah no i i had an anecdote I, I talked about this in the in the object suffering shell but i want to save it for posterity did you see me talking about my experience of going to buy vampire um i don't think so i yeah. i've been i've been blocking out vampire because i know i'm gonna play it yeah, so yeah i just i just don't want to know anything about it Th this has nothing to do with 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 the game I, oh yeah i, I, no, I, I enjoy I, I the game yeah. yeah, I wasn't I wasn't saying not to say I was saying I probably ducked out when when vampire came up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, that's been my my habit. It's been your MO. Yeah. No. Yep. So I, I I was impatient. I didn't want to wait for it on Amazon. And I ended up going to Walmart anyway, because they sell a particular kind of sleeping pill that I like. Um, <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's very funny. Like, I, I understand what exactly what you mean, but that's just a very yeah, funny statement. The, the, yeah. the, the equate sleeping pill is actually really good. Yeah. Well, no, it's a, it's equate uh, motion sickness medicine, but mm -hmm. it's the same stuff. It's diphenhydramine. Um, no, but I was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm here. Like, might as well just buy Vampire. They're going to have it. It's launch day. So I walk back. You know how every big box store like that has their electronic section kind of cordoned off? Like, there's one way in, one way out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm walking and I'm not really paying attention. I'm not maybe looking at my phone or whatever. Somebody, somebody walks up to me and says, Hey, um, <laughs> do you, uh, who do you use for your cable uh, and television provider? And look, and it's like, it's, it's a guy who's posted up at one side of the electronics entrance. Um, mm -hmm. and he's from spectrum, but it used to be time Warner. And I, I don't feel like engaging with him. And I say, actually it's spectrum. That is, that is a lie. I lied to this person because I didn't, I didn't want to be sold to. I didn't want to be engaged any further. He's like, oh, how do you like it? And I'm like, it's fine. And so I turn and walk toward the electronic section and I'm stopped again by somebody who is right across the aisle from him on the other side of the entrance from direct TV who asks, how much do you pay for Spectrum? Ah, oh, geez. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's rough. <laughs> so I look up and I say, and, and I tell him, like, I don't even say how much I pay. I just say, I'm about to move. I can't, I can't get into a new television relationship now. And he's yeah. like, okay. And I look at the two of them and say, so are you guys just like set up? Like, are you dueling? And I say, yeah, well, he's trying real hard because I'm beating him. <laughs> and then as I walked away, they like walked over to the same table and were like talking to each other. I hate, like, if I could have found a ladder to climb over the wall to get out without mm -hmm. walking by them again, I would have done that. Like, I, I, I want to, like, Spider-Man or parkour away from that because I can't, like, that is unconscionable that they would, that they would, like, double team you like that. It feels like something that should, like, the company, like, somebody, uh, the customers would complain about it and the company would stop that. Yes. Nobody enjoys that. <laughs> like, I think that, like... You and I are probably more sensitive 
to that kind of thing than the average person. I don't think the average person digs it. No. Like I'm just out and I really, really want someone to randomly try to get me to buy a very expensive TV yeah, to, you know, to, to, to make, to make a multi multi-month commitment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I don't think anybody digs it. No. The, um, so like, I just imagine somebody, uh, being like, Hey, I just want to go, you know, <laughs> I, I would, I would just like to, uh, to, to go to the electronic section without getting, Bothered, without without like, being accosted yeah. yeah would you stop this and eventually they like walmart would just stop yeah well it's crazy because there are three there are three corporations that are that are culpable for this yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah, like, like at, yeah this, every yeah. every single basically every single corporate entity that was involved in touching this like <laughs> all three of them like they were killing caesar had their hands on the knife mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, it was, it was, it was no good. It was similar back. Like um, it, was, it, it was Memorial day, like the, like the 31st. And I went to party source, the big liquor store across the, uh, across the river to get, you know, just to get some, you know, some habit around the house whiskey. And it was, it was Memorial day. And at both entrances, they had posted up people from DAV disabled American veterans handing out forget me nots. And I'm like, mm. guys, you're not giving me a lot of options here. Like I don't have a lot of outs. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah 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 it's just rough man it is i i just wish that there was like it's amazing to me that headphones aren't socially considered a leave me alone cue well they used to be like they used to be it used to be a thing and i've gone back and forth and it you know putting it out there like i understand like women have a way bigger problem with this than men do like i Mm -hmm. i'm not trying to compare my plight me being annoyed by lift driver is not the same thing as actual harassment Mm -hmm. um but it just feels like if you have headphones on and I've gone back and forth between like earbuds and big obvious headphones, Mm -hmm. it should just be by no means talk to this person. Mm -hmm. Like you should pretend like this person is invisible and doesn't exist except for purposes of not running into them or running over them. Yeah. Like if I'm I'm on fire, if I drop my wallet, (laughs) you know, like tap me on the shoulder, like, yeah. Other than that though, like just, you can't, you cannot, you Mm -hmm. know, like I just, you gotta leave me alone. Yeah. Be left alone for this. Yeah, there, 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 like there has to be, there has to be an agreed upon convention around that, and I think that everybody thinks that they're the exception to it. You know, like I have in the past walked around with headphones in that were not plugged into anything. Me too. You know, just, 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 just to avoid, like, hey, you know, I, I, I really just want to be on my lonesome here, and it's like I'll be walking, I'll be walking past a sample, uh, you know, like like a sample thing at the mire, and the person will like start speaking to me and I will pretend not to hear them and they will gesture and like, just like try to draw me into them. Like, like, no, yeah. <laughs> look at me. The the gesture really should be like, like I am bleeding. <laughs> right. You know, maybe like there's blood trickling out from under one of the headphones and right. that deserves a gesture, but yes. like a, you know, a Stouffer's lasagna pocket yeah. does not justify a gesture. No. You know? So it's just, uh, you know, and, and like, I, it's not all the time. Like I will sometimes go out, uh, like if I go and order something, you know, mm-hmm. if I go up to a, 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 a barista, mm-hmm. I don't keep my headphones in. No. And I'm like, nice. Like I, like I, I'm, I'm a very nice person out in the world. Yeah. There's just something about like wanting something from me that puts me on a back foot. Like yeah. I don't like being sold to, and that is what's happening. Yeah. Like I, like one of my, you know, new year's resolution things, uh, was to like, any homeless person who talks to me, I'll like talk to. Yes. Like I'm never going, I'm not going to be like, even if it is just to say like, not today. Yeah. You know, no, but I'm not, like you're, I'm not, you're not going to contribute to their sense of invisibility. Yes. Right? I don't ignore people right. like as, as a thing for that, but like that doesn't, that's not the same thing as like Greenpeace. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not the same thing as like a TV salesman. Like those people want money or numbers from me mm-hmm. in a way that is not like, does not intersect with my, yeah. Desire to be a better human. Right. The, the the transaction that they are seeking is for you to pay your attention so they gain a result. Yes. You know, whatever you know, whatever and, that and, capital R result might be. And a lot of times that result is not even their fault. Like that sample mm-hmm. person who's waving you in probably had their manager be like, you yeah. need to get your sample numbers up 20% or, you know, we're not going to meet the the quarterly smile burst goal <laughs> right, for, right. For, for this month or some you know, shit. They, they, and they, like, they, they have gotten written up for lack of hustle. Like, I understand yes. it. I get it. But it just sucks. Yeah. Like, it, it just it just it sucks. Yeah. Like, what a, what a shitty situation that, like, you know, I, I can't. And it, it, it leaks into other stuff, too, right? Mm-hmm. Like, 
me having that like will put me on a mood to just kind of be like Ugh, strangers yeah. for a while. And maybe like there are people who are genuinely like nice and I would have good interactions with. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so used to a random accostment being a sales yeah. kind of thing that I'm missing out on those good things because by volume, it's yeah. mostly bad. You, you, you like go there could dead. be some Kool-Aid at the bottom of this like cup of shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just don't want to drink it. Well, you, you just, you just go dead to the good stuff because you know, it, it, yeah. because the like the, this is so much of the so many of the roads to your attention are trod by highwaymen you know yeah. like it's just yeah. just mar it's marauders stick to the stick to the roads yeah you know as opposed to off-roading it this is a good as good a metaphor as shack boo the legend returns <laughs> as any i guess yeah so uh, <sighs> anywho Man. shack is still good i'm disappointed in him yeah but I still love him. Yeah. There have been developments in Shaq technology since we spoke about him last, though. Like, him signing up for the general is pretty funny, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Being the yep. spokesman for that. He's, he's he's a great he's a great general. Yeah. So I, I like him a lot. That doesn't show up in the game. I think it happened after. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, but people did want it. I looked at I found some uh, some people asking for, like, wishing for more references to the general. Mm -hmm. Like, that them wanting that to be one of the transformations yes but i think shack this is really inspired yep you know and shack diesel is also pretty good like mm -hmm. those are both funny yeah incorporate it yeah yep, yep. and oh. some of the songs are actually from the shack cd that brian wade noted sweetheart got me <laughs> yep oh, me too. The soundtrack yeah, like that when they talk about him got having skills at the reference to i got skills mm -hmm. one of the singles from uh from yeah. that shack they're, they're like there they're are new shack rap tracks in this as yeah. well Yep. He really put his whole heart into it, and I just wish he had a better game developer around him. Yeah. You know? uh, I, I wish that he would have been guided and cult uh, guided in order to cultivate something that would have been uh, better and purer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, well. Anywho, uh, <laughs> if you like this show, uh, you should definitely support us on Patreon. Please do. And, uh, go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. Uh, that's a great time. Mm -hmm. And you can have it. Yes. And you enjoy we, will, great times, we, will, we will not lock you into a car. Well, except for the car that you're in listening to this. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like you have locked yourself into this car for safety. Yes. We shall not lock you into a car. Yes. One of the guarantees of a duck feed is if you ever want it to stop, you can just make it stop. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do it by taking out your headphones. It's like the opposite of the real world. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening. If you want to tell friends about the show or review us on iTunes slash Apple podcasts, that is very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Um, that's probably about it. I think so. Those are, those are the things we, we, we need. Um, yeah. Uh, so until next time you should watch out for, uh, Instagram slash lift dog. <laughs> watch out for Insta dog. Yeah. <laughs> Insta. <laughs> <laughs>